the video of complication of graft exposure treatment, which is really one of the most complex things, one of the most complex things to treat, so much that if the patient doesn't notice it, or, or he doesn't complain, the desesthetism, so the connective graft serves to compensate for the loss of the supraosseous component at the vestibular level, but it has to be stretched to include the entire mesial papilla and the entire distal papilla. You understand that a graft in such a coronal position and extended to the base of the papilla, it can never be applied with flap techniques, because by definition the graft must already be more coronal than the pre-existing margin. So we will leave the graft exposed, and how do I extend the graft to the base of the papillae if I haven't opened a flap? So the concept of the flapless implant, unfortunately so popular, it starts from a very, very weak biological concept because it doesn't allow the seal of the buccal soft tissue. 